Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are doing a really fun and special collab from, uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Cheers. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are doing a really fun and special collab with Ian over from IMP or M Studios. Hey man, welcome. Hey, how's it going? It's going great. So you've been talking to me about this side project you've been working on for a while, yeah. and it sounds like it's gonna be really, really cool. So Ian and I are working on a Monster Mash today, and he made this cool program to help us think of what to draw. So you wanna explain it real quick? Well, I should start by probably saying it's not what it was going to be originally. The actual game is incomplete and uh, broken beyond repair because my computer is, mm. is not so great. But I'll talk about more of that in my side of the collaboration. But the game itself is a simple art prompt generator through use of destroying cockroaches. That's basically it. Yeah, and that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm like, I, I remember when you were telling me about it. I'm like, little cockroaches, and you can put stuff on them and kill them. That sounds great. <laughs> yeah, it's it sounds like a great fun idea, which is why I went ahead and did it. But also, you and I got our communities together and uh, got them to come up with an entire list. We've got about 700 different prompts that this thing is choosing from, and in each round, it's going to choose 100 of those 700 prompts, and then we'll be able to choose however many we want from that. So you've gone for about six prompts. Yeah. Yeah. So we were thinking about doing like a combo around six together. Excellent. So, so six sounds like a good plan to me. We've got this option here for Huntsman. This is basically like, you could call it a sudden death mode. So if I turn this on, then we can start spawning in spiders. Big spiders oh, to run in from the edge of the screen and attack the uh, attack the cockroaches as well as everything else that they have to deal with as well. So we've got a very high spawn rate to a low spawn rate. I probably let's go with medium. We don't want to overdo it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And should yeah. we have a countdown or should we just unleash them from the beginning? Yeah, let's do like a thirty second countdown. Thirty maybe. second countdown until the spiders are released. You can see the hunt the. Uh, the countdown has arrived up at the top here, and that's basically it. I can also turn it on to manual mode and uh, spawn them in with the H key as well. So I may, I may do oh, okay. that as well, just because. <laughs> awesome. Cool, and then we start the game. And this is it. This is the circle of champions. This is the uh, ring of death, essentially. The aim is that <laughs> the cockroaches have to escape from the red ring. If they escape, then they will be promoted to a champion or one of the final prompts. The other way that they can become a prompt is to be the last roaches standing in the circle, because obviously we are going to be raining unbridled fury down upon them. And to do that, we have various different things that we can uh, spawn in. So these are fire bombs. Spawn a few in, and there we go. Lovely. Uh, we've also got landmines and speed boosts. So I'm just going to spawn a whole bunch of these things in. And finally, we've got armor as well. So these things all have various different effects on the cockroaches as they're trying to escape. And uh, that's basically it. That's all there is to it. We're just going to spawn these things in as much as necessary and then go. Awesome. God, those cockroaches are going to have a tough time getting out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I like raining fury down upon cockroaches. Right. Are you ready? I am ready. You are ready. Right. Let's do this. So should we zoom in? There's another thing. I'm Down here, you can see the hundred different cockroaches which have spawned in. So are there, have you been looking at those? Are there any there that you particularly like the look of? Um, oh, that's tough. Uh, there's a couple in there. Like I see uh, a rock one. I'm trying to see it. It's, oh, a lion. There's a couple in there. I don't know. I don't want to say which one I want. I want to see what happens. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's I a couple that are pretty you can, cool. You can track them as well, like this, you see. Ooh, apocalyptic would be pretty cool. <laughs> That's a good choice. <laughs> cool. We'll leave that off for a second, but uh, we can turn them all on and things. So. Anyway, that all being said, let us begin with round one. Generating new prompts. All right, I am ready. Release the roaches in three, two, one, go. And they're off to a slow start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, explosions. Oh, we got a couple going. Cool. There's a speed boost couple going going. on here. 
He's got armor as well. Make it? Oh, he might. He's going straight oh, for man. a landmine. Survived the explosion and he's out. He did it. We've got our first champion. We don't know what it is though. It may have, you may have spotted it in here. I don't know. <laughs> is there anything else? Who's, who's I'm trying to see. Burnt ones. Oh, we got four seconds till the spiders too. Holy oh, crap. Two, one. All oh, chaos is about to break loose. Okay, Where we got we got three, they? five. Oh, we got one come. more that needs to survive. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> There's so oh. many dead roaches. They're <laughs> everywhere. They're everywhere. The burnt ones. I haven't seen any set on fire. Well, I think that is it. We've actually got our six champions there. There's still some roaming around, but there is only space for six of them. So these ones are doomed to <laughs> be eaten by the spiders. <laughs> Eaten away. <laughs> Damn, they're brutal. So, <laughs> Shall we see the results? Yeah, I'm ready. Right, your prompts are diamonds, skull, okay. drooling, huh? multiple eyes, yep. big teeth, and tiny feet. Huh. So that will be an interesting combo for sure. That is I'm just trying to be think. an interesting one to come out with. <laughs> I, I like it. I can see a couple things I can do with it, but man, this is gonna be a very <laughs> interesting combo. <laughs> I have no idea what you're gonna do with it. I don't know what I, I do with either. it. It's gonna look amazing though, no matter what. It what is, I, I'm excited. Well, I look forward to seeing I, it. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna work on a couple rough sketches and work on this over the next couple days and then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna show Ian what I made and we're gonna react to each other's creation. So let me jump in and make this. Thanks Ian and I'll see you in a couple days. No worries, see you soon. All right, so with my prompts figured out, which was diamond skull, drooling, multiple eyes, big teeth and tiny feet. I started with the initial sketching and I had this really cool idea right off the bat. I was like, what if we made this really gnarly skull and it just had diamonds all over it for multiple eyes and then having this really big gaping mouth would lend to some really cool drooling looks. So in the initial sketches, I knew I wanted to do that for the head, but then the body I was going back and forth on what I wanted to do. I thought with the tiny feet, I could do some insect feet, but I recently did that with my snake desert killer combo. I had it like have a centipede body. So I wanted to do something different than that since that was pretty recent. One of the things I've been wanting to draw is a Kirin, which is like this really cool, fantastical unicorn, like basically the Asian interpretation of a unicorn. It has like scales like a koi, so it kind of has a dragony feel to it. And I wanted to take that initial idea and run with it for this design. And it works for the tiny feet because deer have these small cloven or hooved feet. And I thought I could use that for the small feet. And with that idea figured out, I kind of jumped into finalizing this drawing and I wanted to add a couple of different aspects that you don't see as much in Kirin designs. One of them was kind of incorporating an insect look. I don't know why, but I felt like the uh, plating that's on like a beetle would match the look of the skull and skeletal like structure of the face. So I made its back kind of have the beetle plating and then I really had fun with the skull. Like the skull was probably my favorite part because I love drawing skulls and kind of these edgy darker creatures and I don't, I don't do it as much. I think I talked about it. I forgot which one I did recently, but in a recent video I was like, man, I don't really draw dark, creepy creatures enough. And I was like, this is a perfect opportunity for me to draw something dark and creepy. I mean, skull was already one of the prompts. So I jumped in and just like let loose on that skull. I put a bunch of diamonds everywhere and I also have it kind of going down the back of the neck. I can just imagine how this creature looks out into the world is kind of like a bug. It just has multiple facets and angles within its eyes and then it just has eyes everywhere. So there'd be probably almost no sneaking up on this guy. I think the closest you might get is potentially, I don't know, maybe it has a blind spot, like kind of where its tail is, just because if it's on all four feet, there might not be a crystal eye like in the center of its neck on its back. So it might be a little bit hard to see, but this guy I think could just see all around it and could easily deflect any oncoming adventurer or attacker. So this guy I have dubbed the Cursed Kirin, just for now. Maybe I'll think of another name eventually and he will be in my 
creature compendium monster manual type of thing that I'm making right now. And I am really excited to write the lore and the backstory from him because there's a lot of really cool mythology that you can lean on in terms of the Kiren, but I also just kind of made him this like small but deadly creature. I don't think he's gonna be a big one because he kind of looks like a small deer, especially in the proportions. I don't think he's gonna be that big, like maybe kind of the size of a large dog, but that's about it. But I could just see this thing being fast and like deadly with its like little tiny legs and stout body. I think it could run pretty dang quick and catch up to its enemies and be able to attack them without them even noticing. Because also another thing that's lending to him is with deer and antelope and any type of hooved animal, it seems like they, they kind of just have this uh, I guess you, you could say they just run like they're running on the wind, you know, they, they're just so light footed and you don't really hear them as much. They're pretty quiet, at least in terms of when I've seen videos or seen them in nature, you don't notice them. They're just very quiet. So I could see this thing using that to its advantage to sneak up on its prey and attack. And then the droolingness of it, I was thinking could have an acidic quality to it to help it like digest and break down its prey. I talk about it more here in the intro with Ian in a second, but I just think this thing would be awful to be eaten by a slowly dissolving death after being paralyzed by its electric powers and being gnawed to death by all those rows of teeth just sounds horrifying. Okay, Ian, so I have taken the prompts from when we did our little uh, roach destruction uh, session, and I made uh, this very interesting creature. Are you ready to see it? I am really looking forward to seeing it. Let's see what you've right. got for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here it is in three, two, one. Oh, oh, he's cool. <laughs> yeah, he oh. was. He was gnarly to figure out. He was a very interesting combo. Uh, yeah, you're telling me. I have, okay, well, hang on. Remind me what your prompts were, first of all, because okay. I've completely forgotten. Yeah, so I had a uh, skull, diamond, drooling, small feet, and big teeth. I think you've nailed all of them. It's like- Thank you. Some kind of mineral ant unicorn. I love it. Yeah, I was thinking um, uh, there's uh, the Kirin in uh, Asian mythology. I was like kind of inspired by that and just kind of combined it and made it this really kind of creepy, electrical, cool, weird thing. <laughs> I, 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 you would not want to meet that on a dark alley, would you? No, you wouldn't. You'd be electrified and then eaten to death by its gross drooling mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> well, yeah, it. thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Did you did you come up with any lore or anything for it whilst you were painting it? Not really. I mean, I would oh. say like it's it's diamond eyes for sure. Like have so many facets in it that it can see out of all the different areas. Oh yeah, I had multiple eyes. That was another part of the prompt. Oh, so yeah. all the diamonds okay. were multiple eyes, and uh, I could see it basically being able to see 360 all around it and uh, using its electricity to stun its prey. And then I was thinking its drool kind of had an acidic quality to it. So it could slowly dissolve and digest its prey. Oh, delightful. <laughs> <laughs> so great. <laughs> oh, amazing, Caitlin, That's, I love it. Brilliant. Thank you so much. And thank you for doing the collab and make sure guys go check out Ian's half where we get a bunch of cool and interesting props for him to make into a really cool creature. Yeah, so thanks again guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Make sure to go give Ian a subscribe, go check out his videos. He's an awesome artist and a very talented creature creator. So go give him a like and say hi for me. So thanks again, Ian, so much for doing the collab. This was super fun. Cheers and Kenan, thank you. Thanks, all right, I'll see you guys later. Bye everybody. See you later. <laughs>